We are here with MVNU assistant volleyball coach Kaylee Hewitt. Uh, coach Hewitt, the Lady Cougars have enjoyed a very successful season with a 34-1 and overall record, including a share of the Crossroads League uh, regular season title as well as the Crossroads League tournament championship. Why don't you give us your thoughts on how this year's uh, gone and how you felt about the girls' performance this year? Well, the performance this year has just been outstanding. Um, a word that comes to mind of how the girls have played, it's just been awesome. They've done a great job, and they've worked hard for this. Um, I think I could talk about kind of the beginning of the year. Uh, when the girls came in for preseason, they worked extremely hard. Um, they challenged each other. They know how to compete. So I think that gave us a good foundation for going into a tough conference, um, they, they, and they had to work for every win they had in the conference. So I think um, anything, it's just been awesome to see them win the conference, and then to keep, keep going is just a, it's just a testimony to how hard they work, and they challenge each other, and they know how to compete. On Saturday, you were able to host the uh, opening round of the NAI National Tournament as you hosted Ashford University. Uh, you enjoyed a nice 3 to nothing victory. How did you feel uh, about that uh, victory, and what did you feel that you did well then? I think that just hosting it created a, a great atmosphere for the girls to compete in. Um, to highlight some of the things the girls did well, uh, we came out, we knew they were an extremely tough-serving team. Um, they had a lot of high percentages from the back row as far as their great defense. I think our girls... Um, I, I want to say they, they played outstanding from a defensive point of view. Um, Marlo Beatty is just a phenomenal back row player, and I think she led the way, especially on our defensive um, side of things. And so with Marlo uh, leading that back row, I think that helped us kind of capture the win because Ashford was an extremely tough team. Um, they didn't let a lot <laughs> uh, drop. And so having Marlo in the back row was very, very helpful and a key aspect to uh, why we did win that game. Uh, another thing I want to kind of highlight is our serve-receive. Again, I mentioned that Ashford is an extremely tough serving team, and I think our back row just handled everything extremely well, um, especially with a lot of the serving they had. They had a lot of girls with pace, um, tough topspin, and um, also just great floating serves, and they did a great job handling that. As well as I'll have to highlight our front row did a great job with um, – handling just their great attackers and able to put the ball away. You've got our great outsides that have just did a great job. So that's kind of some of the key aspects that helped us win. Uh, finally, uh, next week you head out to Sioux City, Iowa for the NAI National Tournament. You're in uh, Pool D with uh, Lords University, yes. a fellow Ohio NAI school. They're undefeated. Yes. Uh, you also get Hastings and Columbia. Um, what do you guys expect and what are some keys uh, that will help you guys succeed out in Sioux City as you head out there next week? Well, the keys are going to be the same thing that they've been all year. Um, we need to play great defensively in the back row. We need to serve tough and we need to also serve receive well. Um, I think those are, cru are just crucial parts that will set up our offense. Um, and then we need to execute from the front row. We're going to go up against a lot of big girls <laughs> compared to um, some, some of the teams that we've seen. So our blocks need to be ready. Um, but I think most importantly is our back row. We, we, I know Coach Swanson and I have talked about the uh, back row being how our offenses run. And I think if we just stay tough defensively, I think we're going to be a, a tough team to beat. We're joined by MVNU head volleyball coach Paul Swanson. Uh, coach, your team enjoyed a nice 3-0 victory over Ashford University in the uh, NAI opening round, which you were able to host here. Uh, give us your thoughts on uh, that game and also your thoughts and expectations heading into Sioux City, Iowa next week as you uh, travel for the national tournament. It's very exciting to be in the NAI national tournament. Uh, being able to host the first round was great. Um, I think Ashford loved our campus and our arena, which is great to be able to show that off. I uh, was very, very happy with the way our team played and excited to win that uh, match and earn the opportunity to go to uh, the final site, which is in Sioux City, Iowa, which is an awesome event, awesome tournament uh, to be a part of. So, Coach, heading into uh, Sioux City, Iowa next week, what are your keys to victory as you head out for the national tournament? Well, we're certainly playing the best teams in the country, so uh, every aspect of our game is going to need to be elevated. Uh, certainly, we're going to still try to you know, uh, do our best in the back row. It's been a real signature of our team. It's playing great team defense and <clears throat> we're certainly going to have to continue to upgrade that but we're going to have to upgrade a lot of other aspects of our game as well but the players are really excited for the challenge. Uh, they kind of have a we've entered the season as kind of an underdog so now we're entering the postseason as an underdog but we're eager for the opportunity to go out and earn a win.